Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Denver Broncos. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday Night Football. And on the call, as always, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. On a cold night at the foot of the Rockies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Empower Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Buffalo Bills and the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. The beat goes on, doesn't it? A perfect 10-0 to start the campaign. And it's a good locker room to be in, too. Guys don't show up on game day hoping to win. They expect to win. And so far, they've yet to have a letdown. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, they, too, were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. First time with Philip Lindsay. That he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Now a play fake here on first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there, they blasted him. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Noah Fan. His sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. They'll start on the ground with Lindsey. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. A look at the numbers a week ago for Lindsey. 13 carries, 90 yards, and a touchdown. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. And they love what they've got in him. He's the number four rusher in the league right now. So you know that you have to account for him on defense which means you can play complimentary football as well. Throw the play action, get it out to the wide receivers, because they should have some open space, because the defense will key on them. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Solid coverage on the play. Let's go now. 90, Wolf. Mike, number 53, Mike 53. Hey, hey. Now. The drive will commence with a run by Lindsey. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. Here we go on second and 12. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stop that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. The goal for any offense versus his own defense. Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it. Just effective on third downs all year long. Now the pass to Grant, and he's got it. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. 
Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Off play action. Goodwin. He's got his big tight end, fan. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Second and six. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at 7. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Flushed out right. He's going to take. And the Denver Broncos are in for six. Goodwin. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off play action. Goodwin. Airing it out for Hamilton. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Off the play fake, Goodwin. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's gonna come down with it. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. Play action. Goodwin. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big game. Another run by Lindsey. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. They'll try to run with Lindsey, and he will fight his way into the end zone for a Bronco touchdown. Let's go, 18, Gator. Mike, Mike, Mike. Watch the run, watch the run. Ready, ready. 
On first and 10, it's Lindsey. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. They'll go again with Lindsey. Gets out of a little bit of trouble there with a shifty move. He'll take it up past the six. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Operating from the gun, Goodwin. This is the tight end fan. He's going to have the first down past the 20. And finally taken down to the 26-yard line. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Well, they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. On third down, here's Lindsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That good for 22 and a first down. Welcome back now to Denver. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Second and 11. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there, and now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Back to throw. Good one. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. From the gun, good one. Yeah, this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Cortland Sutton. Set ready. 90 volt. They go play action here on first down. Dancing to his left. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. Touchdown, Broncos! to his right. Now he'll pull it down. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Off the bootleg. Goodwin. Got an open man. It's Fumagalli. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. Tight end fan. 
No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Big Shaq Lawson gets the sack there. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. He's got his tight end fan. And all the way home for a Bronco score. No offense. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Broncos, the perfect season remains intact as they move to 11-0 on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they drop their seventh game on the year. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my... Start your week by installing your game plan. everybody it's the coach and this is madden 20 on ea sports straight ahead we've got a good between the miami dolphins and the denver broncos i'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime but kickoff right around the corner and standing by to call the action here are brandon god and charles davis coach we find ourselves at the foot of the rockies denver colorado for of the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare duck game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fire pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to the Dolphins and the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team. The streak continues, doesn't it? They come in here a perfect 11-0. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Now the first carry here. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Back to throw now on second and ten. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Ryan Gray. Yeah, 
50, plant. Check 59, spike. They'll run on first down. Lindsey. And he stopped immediately there. Go, get set. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Here's Lindsey. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. On the ball! On the ball! A look at the numbers a week ago for Lindsey. 13 carries, 61 yards and a touchdown. Here's second and eight. They've got a nice scheme going right now, and they run the football pretty well. In fact, I was talking with him on the field before the game, and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage total, and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Goodwin. He's going to let this one go deep. Man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. On first down, it's Lindsey, and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. That one going for a gain of 11, and a Bronco first down. Back to throw, Goodwin. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Just picked up by the Dolphins, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. So we've got a challenge. Our referee's going to take another look on the tablet. He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. Oh, I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that'll be considered a fumble. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football, first and 10. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Looking to throw, Goodwin. Catch number 100 for his career right there. And it's, man, it's caught at the six yard line. And all the way home for a Bronco score. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. They'll run on first down. Lindsey. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. On first down, Goodwin. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. They'll run here with Lindsey. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. To throw on second down. Good one. Got a man open. It's Sutton. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one going for a gain of 11, and a Bronco first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. 
Operating from the gun. Good one. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. He was out there waving his arms. I mean, you got a quarterback out of And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. It's their quarterback on his way to a... On first and ten. Good one. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, this phase is not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be out right at the 35. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Second half starts with a run by Lindsey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Back to throw. Good one. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Lindsey. In on the stop defensively, Raekwon McMillan. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's a second and seven. That one into the hands of Hamilton. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime, but nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's Yannick Ngakwe with a sack. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. Quarterback was hit. The throw taken in by Hamilton. Down the numbers. There he goes. And all the way home for the Broncos. First down, it's Lindsey. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, right back to Lindsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Throwing on first down. Good one. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. They find some open field here. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure. Good coverage downfield. And then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Great. They'll run 
on first down. Lindsey fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets them nine yards and a first. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting in out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. On first down, good one. Being chased out left. And an alley to run. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Looking to throw. Good one. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Yannick Ngakwe picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. He'll try and run it. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Flushed out right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Pass the 20. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. They'll run with Lindsey, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they... On first down, it's Lindsey. Oh, he's got some breathing room. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Back to throw. Good one. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Off the bootleg. Good one. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. First and ten. Good one. Flush to his right. This one complete to Troy Fumagalli. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. So first and ten now from the 30. Come on. Come on, D. Ready, ready. Looking to throw. Good one. Escaping the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Back to throw. Good one. This one complete to the running back, Lindsey. 
And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Give them 32 on the play. And Lobo. First and ten. Check, the check, yard check, line. check, check, check. Off the play fake. Good one. He completes this to Sutton. And they're going to be set up down around the 15 yard line. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offense coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all gonna work. That's called being in the zone. So for Denver, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12 now on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they fall to 6-6 six and six now on the campaign. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves. Start your week by installing your game plan. Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Denver Broncos and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the west coast of the Sunshine State. Downtown Tampa's the spot, Raymond James Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Denver Broncos and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. They come into this one off a bit of a clunker last time out, a loss that ended their five-game winning streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, they've handled all comers through the first three months, a perfect 12-0. Yeah, they're three quarters of the way to a perfect season, and now's where it really starts to get into your mind. We'll see if it affects their play in any way. A look at the numbers a week ago for Lindsey. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every run. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. On first down, it's Lindsey. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. 
partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. On second down, a run with Lindsey. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. On third down, Goodwin. The pass complete to Ryan Graham. Come on, set. 60 out, Lord. They'll run on first down. Lindsey, a pass the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. 45, Off play action, Goodwin. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Devin White, it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the nine. Ready? Throwing on first down. Goodwin. And now he's gonna use his legs. He finds an opening past the 40, and he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That good for 19 and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So the line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Throwing again. Good one. Steps away to his left. He'll run it. One fifty left to go in the second quarter. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you across state to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all the scores from games going on during another busy Sunday. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. A great effort there. Ready, ready. 60 or. On first down, Goodwin. He'll find Lindsey here. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line. And that's caught at the 25. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. First and ten. Good one. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get down. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. Phillip Lindsey. On first down, it's Lindsay, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Second and two. 
He's got his man on the crossing route. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Looking to throw on second down. Goodwin eluding the pressure right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Vita Vea able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to have to put a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Cortland Sutton with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Broncos push further out in front. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation. Touchdown. Let's go now. Ten low ball. They'll run on first down. Lindsey. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Second and four. Rolling to his right. On the run. He'll let it. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A big. On first down, it's Lindsey. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Brings up second and three at the 43 yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Lindsey. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. While the trainers take a look, on, set, we'll step aside. 70, Get it. Throwing on first down. Goodwin flushed out right. He's going off with it. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Five. Off the play fake. Goodwin. And he finds a man on a crossing route. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On, Let's go! There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. That's going to be caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Noah Fant with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Broncos push further out in front. And now the offense is going to stay out there as the Broncos will go for two. Well, after another passing touchdown, I don't think it would be an understatement to say that he's in the zone. And I believe he likes it. And he's got it. So the try for two success. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The Pro Bowler, Muhammad Wilkerson, brings him down. Off play action. Good one. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. On 
first down. Lindsey. And he's got Rome. There he goes, right side. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Phillip. Here we go. 90 Wolf. 45. Snap. They'll run on first down. Muhammad. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. Looking to throw. Goodwin. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. He's got his big tight end, Fant. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. They go again with Muhammad. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. Now a carry for Lindsey. Trying to barrel up in. On first down, Lindsey. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to it. The... A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Broncos, the streak lives as they move to 13-0 now on the year. Start your game plan.